Now I am going to demonstrate you how to read ammeters and voltmeters that you will be using in your experiments. So let's start with the voltmeter. So as you can see in the voltmeter you have three different ranges. You will be connecting to this common terminal one of the wire and the other wire you will be connecting in any of these three ranges. So if you connect it at 300 voltage range you should be looking at the display of the stop readings that is the 300 voltage scale. If you are connecting it to the 150 volt then you will be looking at the readings which is at the middle and if you are connecting for 75 volt you will be looking at the readings which is this lower scale. Now from what position you have to note the readings. So to do that one thing you have to observe very closely is that this is actually this indicator on the top line you can see and there is a mirror image just below that. So now you can see they are distinctly different and that is not the correct position to take, to take the result. You have to position yourself such a way that these two lines are aligned together and you can see them as a single line. So that is the correct position to take the readings. Now one interesting point you can observe here is that this right now I have not given any supply and to this circuit. So the reading should have been zero. But as you can see it is not exactly at zero there is some offset coming in. So you have to make sure that your offset is zero at the beginning. So how to do that you take a screwdriver like this and there is a screw here you can see. So you have to adjust this screw such a way that that reading is at zero. So again you align yourself, make positions such that those two lines are aligned together but still here you can see there is a very small error. So again you adjust the screw so that these two lines are perfectly coinciding with the zero line to eliminate any error. So in case you cannot eliminate that offset, so then while you are taking the readings you should subtract or add that offset as per the requirement. The same thing goes here with the emitter. So here as you can see the actual indicator and its mirror image are not aligned. So again you position yourself such that those two lines are seen as a single line and here you can see that indicator is perfectly aligned with the zero so you need not do any offset arrange, uh, you need not change the offset it is perfectly fine. And here also in the emitter you can see there are two range one is 5 ampere another is 2.5 ampere. So you, you must ensure that wherever you are connecting you are looking at that scale. So how to know which range to select? So that will be given in the manual or otherwise you can also determine. So you whatever uh, instrument that you are using in your circuit arrangement. So and whatever rheostat you are using. So try to get an idea what could be the maximum current that is going to flow through your emitter and from that you decide this. For example if you calculate that maximum current that is going to flow in your circuit is around 3 ampere. So you will be selecting this 5 ampere scale and if it is you are very sure that current will be within say 0 to 2 ampere then you use this scale 2.5 ampere.